on this day kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable copy method so let's get started problem solve p times p plus y equals to x times x plus y solution given differential equation p times p plus y equals to x times x plus y so you can write this as p into p p square plus p into y p y minus of x times x plus y equals to 0 then p square plus p y minus or minus of x into x, x square plus x y equals to 0 which is quartic in p right so let's consider quartic equation in p a p square plus b p plus c equals to 0 is a quartic equation in p right then p equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c by 2a is quartic formula right so now we'll use quartic formula okay fine now by comparing these two equations we'll get a equals to 1 b equals to p sorry b equals to y right quotient of p is y and c equals to minus of x square plus x y Okay. Now consider p equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and substitute a, b, c values here which is equals to minus of b is y minus y plus or minus square root of b square minus 4a by 2 a which is equals to minus y plus or minus square root of y square minus into minus plus 4 times minus y plus or minus square root of y square minus to minus plus into 4 times x square plus x y by 2 into 1 2 So we have p equals to minus y plus or minus square root of y square plus 4 times x square plus y square right. So you will get 4x square plus 4 into xy is 4xy by 2. So you have discriminant y square plus 4 x square plus 4xy right you can write this as y square plus 2 square x square plus 2 times 2 into x into y which is equals to y square plus 2x whole square plus 2 into y into 2x which is all a plus b whole square right which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab right so you can write this as minus y plus or minus this becomes okay square root of y plus 2x 
whole square. My denominator will be as it is. You are having square root of y plus 2x whole square, right? Since we know that a square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2, then you can write this expression as y plus 2x whole square power 1 by 2. And we know what a power m, whole power m equals to a power m into n. Again, you can write this as y plus 2x power 2 into 1 by 2, which is equals to y plus 2x power 1 equals to y plus 2x, right? So this becomes minus y plus or minus square root of y plus 2x whole square is y plus 2x by 2. So from this we will get p equals to minus y plus y plus 2x by 2 and p equals to minus y minus all y plus 2x by 2. Okay. So you are having two differential equations now. p equals to minus y plus y plus 2x by 2 and p equals to minus y minus all y plus 2a by 2. Okay. So let's consider the first one. p equals to minus y plus y plus 2x by 2. Which is equals to minus y plus y plus 2x by 2. Here y gets cancelled. This is equals to 2x by 2, 2 gets cancelled, which is equals to x. So we have p equals to x, right? Now consider the second one. p equals to minus y minus or y plus 2x can be written as minus y minus into plus minus 2x by 2, which is equals to minus y minus y is minus 2y. Minus 2x by 2. Now we can take 2 common from the numerator or minus 2 common from the numerator. Then you get minus 2 times y plus x by 2 here. 2 gets cancelled which is equal to minus or y plus x or minus y minus x. Okay. So now we got p equals to x and p equals to minus y minus x. So now let's find solution for p equals to x. Okay. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to x. Take this dx to RHS and you'll get dy equals to x into dx. Now perform integration. Then integral dy is y equals to integral x dx is x squared by 2 plus constant integral constant c, right? Then this becomes y equals to x square plus 2c by 2. Then 2y equals to x square plus 2c. You can write this 2c as c since c is being constant. Okay. Then 2y minus x square minus c equals to 0 is the solution for the first equation. Now let's find solution for the second equation. 
Now coming to the second one. P equals to minus y minus x. Now put P equals to dy by dx. Then this becomes dy by dx equals to minus y minus x. What happens if you take y to LHS? You get dy by dx plus y equals to minus x, which is a linear equation, right? So let's consider equation dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. So by comparing this with the actual equation, we have p equals to 1, that is quotient of y is 1, and q equals to minus x. Here we have to find integrating factor, which is equal to e power integral p dx equals to e power integral 1 into dx equals to e power integral 1 into dx is dx equals to e power integral dx is x. So we have if equals to e power x. We know that the solution of linear equations given by y into if equals to integral q into if into dx plus c. So let's find the solution. Okay. Y into, we are having if is e power x. Y into if is e power x equals to integral q. You are having q equals to minus x into if is e power x into dx plus c. Then y into e power x equals to minus integral x into e power x into dx plus c. So now we need to evaluate integral x into e power x into dx using highlight. Okay. Take x comes first, right? Arithmetic. Arithmetic. Sorry, algebraic comes first. So we'll take x as u and exponential function comes next. So we'll take these two as dv and we'll use a or Bernoulli's formula. We know that integral u dv equals to u v minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus plus and so on, right? So we are having u equals to x. U dash is 1. U double dash is 0. So we'll neglect all the terms from here. Now take dv equals to e power x into dx. Then integral dv equals to integral e power x into dx. From this we'll get v equals to e power x. Now we'll find v1 which is integral v into dx equals to integral e power x into dx is e power x. So we need to find v1, up to v1, right? Now we'll apply formula. This is equals to uv u into v is x into e power x minus u dash v1. 1 into e power x. 1 into e power x. This is equals to e power x into e power x minus e power x. Okay. So this equals to minus of. We have integral x into e power x dx is x into e power x minus e power x. Plus integral constant c. So this is equals to minus x into e power x minus into minus plus e power x plus c. Then y into e power x plus x into e power x. Simply we are taking all these terms to LHS minus e power x minus c equals to 0.
this becomes now we can take e power x common from all the terms y times e power x sorry we have to take e power x common right not y so we'll get e power x times y plus x minus 1 here you don't have any e power x right so we'll get minus c by e power x since e power x into 1 by e power x equals to 1 we'll get the same thing right equals to 0 then y plus x minus 1 minus c into 1 by e power x equals to 0. We know that 1 by e power x equals to e power minus x. And this becomes y plus x minus 1 minus c into e power minus x equals to 0. Which is solution for the second differential equation y plus x minus 1 minus c into e power minus x equals to 0 solution for this equation. So the combined form of these two solutions will be the solution for the given differential equation. Therefore, 2y minus x square minus c into y plus x minus 1 minus c into e power minus x equals to 0 is the required solution. Okay, this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable copy in this video. Hope you all understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.